Lamborghini is turning a healthy profit and in good hands, but it is not having everything its own way. The world's largest Lamborghini dealer, Lamborghini Orange County in the US, closed amid rumors of accounting discrepancies, and it closed its Santa Agata factory for an extended Christmas holiday and again recently. I wanted to find out how Lamborghini is going to address these setbacks and how it intends to drive demand in this down economy. You said I spent nine years creating a distinct image for Lamborghini, aggressive, uncompromising and Italian. I'm wondering what the, uh, the sort of long-term vision is for the company and what's your overall strategy been? So um, nine years, yes, it was uh, a pretty uh, difficult task back then because you, you didn't have a clear idea of what Lamborghini stood for. If you went through the dealerships, everybody had sort of an island solution. Everybody interpreted the brand in a different way. Um, so I went out to, to create, uh, starting from the brand values, also a very, very clear um, CICD, corporate identity, corporate design. It's so important for, for a luxury brand like ours to have such a, a clear idea and a clear vision of uh, where you want to bring the brand and where you want to go. You have to be very, very consistent in your approach. You also said uh, recently it would be a mistake to reduce the brand to what we have done. Um, I'm wondering what you meant by that. And also, perhaps, uh, it's a clear indication that brand diversity is needed. Why now? I think uh, it, it would be a mistake to, to reduce us only to that uh, because we have such a potential here, such a vast creativity here. Um, I think the, the brand is, is just what you've seen so far, is just the basis of that, what we're set out to do for uh, also in the future. Um, we, I said that in the context, I believe, in the Motor Show of Paris, where we showed um, a concept car, a show car, the stock of the four-door. Um, and we were asked why doing this, and, and I just exploited it in the way that I said, um, this is also a, a viable way for us and a credible way. Anything that we do has to be authentic. It has to be recognized uh, as a Lamborghini product uh, from the first sight. And, um, Therefore, I believe, yes, uh, we can do more and we're set out to do more. How does Lamborghini move into a new market? What are the steps? I think there uh, we need, first of all, a good understanding of the market. Uh, but that does not mean that we will uh, cater to the market in a special way. What does that mean? We won't do products for a market. Uh, we have a global product. It has to work everywhere. So the market understanding has to be there. We have to understand and we have to obviously uh, penetrate our brand value. So we have to be understood as a luxury brand. If you take China, for instance, a couple of years ago, the Chinese did not know what Lamborghini is. Is it a coffee brand? Is it something to wear? Uh, what is it? No, it's a car manufacturer. No, it's a super sports car manufacturer and it's a luxury brand. So we have to play in that league and they have to perceive us as something uh, which they would like to uh, possess.